right now. Uh, yeah. This is the old Reb with K-Tech Radio, and uh, I'm uh, at the Black Hills Motorcycle Show, and we're interviewing folks today. And right here is a gentleman, and sir, what is your name? Chumley. Chumley. And that's not... The, you're not named for the guy on the Pawn series, right? That was way before that. Okay. <laughs> well, well, how do you like being here today? Oh, uh, really interesting. Yeah. What, what do you? What did you? What did you find most fascinating about the bike show? Uh, the part where you see a lot, a different, you know, a variety of, of uh, bikes. Even though they may be the same bike, there's still a variety of different. Things. Was there one that that was outstanding in your mind that you thought was all right? Yeah, that was 133. It looked more like the real old school bike. Well, thank you, sir. We appreciate it. Have a good time, and uh, we're going to visit with some more people. Here's a gentleman right here. <laughs> oh, I think he's he, camera shy. He ran off on us. <laughs> I'm a scaredy cat. Yeah, what, yeah. what was your name? <laughs> George Washington. <laughs> oh, jeez. Well, He's George your celebrity. Is here. Oh, that's all right. Yeah, that's well, we can interview George. I Washington. don't care. Yeah. Uh, so how did you like the bike show? I loved it, man. Was there, Ruby. was there something that stood out for you? Uh, motorcycles. <laughs> <laughs> that's why we're here, right? right. <laughs> yeah, motorcycles. Well, well, did you get a chance to vote on one? I did. And what, what was that one? Uh, 133. And what did you like about that? It looked like the guy built in his garage. That's good. So, uh, you you've been here before many times, or? Oh yeah, I come here every year. All right. A friend of mine's supposed to have his bike here, but it's still in Kansas City. I see. Sure. All right. Well, is there anything else you'd like to tell our radio audience? When, when I would look out for bikers. Thank you. <laughs> You not much. look out for them, but you know, be careful because they're there. Yeah. Oh sure. Yeah. We appreciate that. Hey, Thank no you problem. Sir. Rock. You don't have no fright or anything, oh, no, no stage fright. Anybody uh, that does radio should never have stage fright no, for any reason. Never have so, even though we got the video, we're going to just do the audio, right? Yeah. Well, yeah, because that's, you know, you know, the video will probably just go up on YouTube just as a bonus, but, but the audio will be able to, yeah, definitely. Wow, look at all these old bikes here. Did I even say the Frankie Slauson show? I didn't well, know. you did now. <laughs> they don't really matter. I mean, it's, it's at K-Tech, so I mean, that's... Uh, are, we, are we broadcasting live right now? Yeah. yeah. We are. Okay. You give a little tour of the... <laughs> oh. We're with K-Tech Radio, sir, and we're doing an interview today, and we want to know what you think of the motorcycle show so far. State your name for us, please. Um... Joe Gerlach. Sure. Joe, what do you think? Well, other than Kirk Funeral Home having their flag, flags set wrong up there, um, some nice looking bikes in here, like that pink one sitting right over here. My wife would like the color of that one. This pink oh yeah, yeah, I oh, see that. Love that. I see. But, I see by your vest you're with the Vietnam Vets Motorcycle Club. Yes, I am. Is there anything you'd like to tell our audience out there about your yeah, organization? Yeah. Um, we are a group of veterans. We are a three-piece patch. We support and help to bring home POWs and MIAs by having uh, calling our congressman, Christy Nome, having her sign on to HRES 231, which is a bill in this, uh, for the House to set up a subcommittee on accountability for POWs and MIAs. And we also work with other veterans. We have an annual veterans run the third weekend in July. And this year we are presenting some um, pre uh, appreciation plaques to the mayor, the chief of police, and the sheriff's office there in Stanley County for um, their participation in helping us with our, our, our veterans mo uh, memorial run. Oh, wow. That's very good. Very well, good. You know what? That sounds like a good cause, and we certainly want to get the word out. And, Joe, we appreciate the interview. Do you have anything else to say to yeah, our audience? Uh, Let them know. <laughs> yeah, Saturday night at the American Legion Hall there in Pier, we will have a live band playing, and entrance into the band is by donations, which will be used to help support the POWs and MIAs. What's the date on that? July 19th. July 19th. Awesome. Right, the run starts at 3.30 in the afternoon. And we should be done with the run by 
and uh, band starts up later on that evening, and meet us at the American Legion or come and join the ride. Well, the more the public, sure, the better. We sure appreciate it, buddy. No problem. Thank yeah, you. For thank you. You it. You all have a good day. Listen oh, yeah. to 91.3. We'll have that on there. All right. Thank you. <laughs> wow. <see you. laughs> Wasn't that neat? Oh, that's okay. Uh, I'm the old Reb from K Tech Radio, and we're doing interviews today. Oh, okay. Okay. Cool. And I happen to know about bikes against child abuse. Okay. I know. Uh, I know your organization just started awesome. up here and stuff. Yep. Yeah, about two years ago, we've been at it. So. Well, it's doing well. Good. And we. Uh, what do you think about the bike show? Today? I think it's good. I, you know, there's a lot of bikes. Well, there's bikes, and, and I'm just amazed at the amount of vendors. I'm amazed at what the way they got it set up. They, there's a lot of people done a lot of work to well, get good. their bike yeah, out here, right. and, and we just were thankful that they're allowing us to set our deal up and to get the word out for our organization as well. Is there anything outstanding in your mind that you saw, or are they all pretty good? I like this Kirk Hirschfeld thing. There you go. <laughs> Uh, was there anything you'd like to tell us about your organization that you'd like to have on the radio with us? Uh, we're just we're a 501c3 nonprofit organization. Our sole purpose is basically to empower kids to not be afraid of the world in which they live. That's what our mission statement says. We already we work with already established organizations with, that are already in place to help kids. We just help a little more. We're 24/7, 365. If they need us, we're there for them. Well, I want you to know that Rapid City has a bikers advocate. It's on 91.3 K-Tech Radio, the School okay. of Mines. Okay. And if you need anything from the old Reb and on the Frankie Slauson show, okay. we're on 10 o'clock every night. Okay. And we can be found at ktech.org on, online. All righty. Cool. And so, uh, you got a card? Uh, we don't have a card. We're, we're, we're pretty low budget. But so this okay. is just a brand new radio station. I'm a new, well, I'm a he, new yeah. co-host. But Frankie Slauson has been around for a while. But, That's uh, me. It's like a second full around for me. I, I used to do radio long ago, and now I've got a second chance in life here. So I want to I wanna check out the I think the biggest community. thing we'd like is, I, I think, just getting the word out, letting, letting people know that we're here. We're here to help the kids in our community, in our state. We're in 42 states, as far as I know. Last I heard, 42 states and in, in seven foreign countries. And what was your name, sir? They call me Frodo. 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 Okay. Frodo, everybody laughs at that. Yeah. I, Doesn't personally, matter. I didn't know what a Frodo was until they... Until Lord of the Rings. Right? <laughs> kids relate to it. Yeah. It's a kid-friendly name. Kids can relate to it, and that's why it stuck on me, because when you're in this deal and you work with kids, you become a kid at heart. And oh, sure. Because... When those kids need you, you got to get to their level and you got to understand that in order for them to feel comfortable around you, you sometimes got to do push ups and you got to do jump attacks. Like <laughs> sure. Well, we you're, thank you. You're, you're going to see something a little different there, Frodo, because we're going to, be, you know, a lot of radio stations might come around and, and you know, they'll, mm -hmm. they'll, they'll do a sound bite. We're not going to yeah. do that. We're going we're gonna to push you in there. Just as we did this now. And well, we're I think, here for it. I think if we get support of the community, and, then, and um, like I said, we're, we're, we're international. Right. But the, the web, they had a uh, Facebook, something hit Facebook and the web, and it went crazy. But, you know, I think if people in the community got involved and started to remember that the kids are the most important thing in our life and should be. Jobs don't matter. Anything else really doesn't matter. But uh, a child molester, they say, will affect 400 kids in their lifetime. Oh, well, sure. Well, you heard it. You heard it from Brother Frodo here. This is the old Reb broadcasting to you from K Tech Radio. We appreciate you, sir. Thank Keep you. Keep up the good Reb, work. Appreciate and we're with hey, you. Hey, we appreciate you too. Thank you. Put. I got the camera turned on. Yeah. Yeah, they got the gun show going on too.
Motorcycle show so this far. This is a great show. There's a lot of real good bikes out there. And you, you're the guy that's featured in Easy Riders magazine, right? Where are you from, sir? Milwaukee. Just Milwaukee. South Milwaukee. Okay. In Town Hall, and uh, what, what can you tell us about your display here for our radio well, audience? I brought a whole bunch of stuff here over the years. I got a picture over there on the easel of my first custom bike I built. That was in '98. That was an Easy Riders uh, bike show that. Up to last year's bike I built, that one actually made it in Easy Riders, a little digger, a little Harley digger. And then this year I built this one over here, which is a replica of a package delivery truck. They pay back machines and twinings. Oh, sure. And it looks real custom, too. Yes, very <laughs> custom, yeah. Well, we're, we're, we're the Bikers Advocate radio station. We're kind of new in Rapid City. Okay. We're on 91.3, okay. KTEQ.org. Okay. where we're streaming live across the country. Oh, so cool. We read about you, and we wanted to come down here and meet you personally today. And uh, is there anything you want to tell our audience about anything out there? Oh, it's just your been, message out? It's just been great being out here, and I love it out here. Uh, my wife's from South Dakota originally, and we're retiring out here in where, the Black Where Hills. in South Dakota is she from? She uh, grew up in Yankton, Very and good. then she got older, was up in Pier for a while, and oh, then yeah. to Milwaukee. And, Yep. Well, you've heard it from Cabana Dan. We finally got to meet the guy. Yeah. He's an awesome guy, and he's got some nice custom uh, motorcycles here and a heck of a display. And Dan, we appreciate the interview. Sure. Meeting appreciate care. meeting you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. On the old rep from Paid Pack Radio. Oh, yeah. Vern <laughs> Schaefer. Vern Schaefer? <laughs> and you're with the Children's Home Society? I am for a fact. What do you think of the bike show this year? Oh, I think it's great. Yeah. Absolutely great. Well... We did we uh, we did a promo on the show on, last night on on the air, and one of the things that we told our audience was about the Children's Home Society. So we saw your display here, and we want to make sure we get you uh, in an interview here a little bit. So, what can you tell us about the Children's Home Society? Well, I'll tell you, we uh, not everybody knows we've been around since 1893. So, uh, wow, long time. <laughs> long time, and from then until now, our basic mission has been the same, and that is to keep our children safe. So we work mostly with kids uh, that are emotionally disturbed, we have behavior issues, mostly due to severe abusive neglectful situations in their home. And uh, so we have a residential treatment facility that they can come and live with us, receive therapy, education, and just get a chance to be a kid again without fear of being abused. Well, I should tell Vern that, and I, I didn't say this in the beginning of this interview, but it's the Frankie Slauson Show on 91.3, the School of Mines, and KTech.org is worth streaming nationwide. So, okay. uh, I know that the biker community has been very good to the Children's Home Society because I certainly good. have rode on runs where we donated toys and a lot of other things. Vern Schaefer with the Children's Home Society, and, and uh, it's really good to, to meet you and get the word out, let the public know that you're around, and and uh, you're, you're doing a good job, and we really appreciate it. We appreciate right. your support. All right. Thank you, sir. Thanks. Yes, have a good one. How was that? Yeah, that was good. That was good. Yeah, we do, we do it for the school mines. I don't have a radio equipment. We're using our camera today, but but this will be broadcast on the radio. Well, anyway, Rev, you're doing such a good job so far. I just want to let you know that. You well, know? that's good. <laughs> We're standing in right now in front of the Honda Riders Club of America. I ride a Honda, and uh, I, I just thought we'd stop here and visit and see what the yeah. good folks at Honda have to tell us today. Yeah, and if they find the right guy, well, <laughs> oh, good, hey. <laughs> that was he. What did he give you? Kind of well, flyer? he gave us a, the the Moonlight Madness poker run, and that's been going on for a long time. And it's uh, it looks like it's July nineteenth, uh, twenty fourteen, 
and you can see the Badlands by the light of the moon on an adventurous 160 mile poker run. I've been yeah. out on that, and that's a heck of a run. Oh yeah, I suppose, yeah. huh? You, you sign up at 3 o'clock to 6 p.m. at Rice Honda, and they'll have 50-50 tickets so you can win door prizes, and 50-50 tickets, a dollar each, or ten dollars for five dollar donation. <laughs> So oh, okay. That's something that uh, is being put on by Rice Honda. Oh, so that's awesome. Neat. We awesome. Can get that out to the public. So, where's your friend Doug then? <coughs> you see the one in the orange? Yeah. All right. Well, we'll should we go to him or? Sure. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you. Yeah. Appreciate we, we, it. You put this run on. We're going to put the run on the radio for you. So. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yes, he's the guy with the orange there. That guy, right? One of the guys there. Hey, you Doug. Okay. Uh, hey. <laughs> your name, sir? Doug Smith. All right. And uh, you're with the uh, Honda, what is it? The Honda um, uh, Chapter Riders. Okay, and specifically, what does your outfit stand for? What does it do? Well, we do, uh, at one time, the Honda Group is part of the, the Honda Association, and uh, Rice Honda supports us. And, um, and Rice we, Honda is the local dealer, right? Yes. And then what we do is we, we provide two rides a year to make money for um, cancers for children. That's a good. Uh, that's a good charity. Yeah, and uh, the, you know we do uh, for uh, presents for the elderly, and, um, and then uh, you know I'm the vice president, and uh, and then we do those two rides, one in July and one in August, and then we have a ride every week. We do rides just for the club. Well, I want you to know that. Uh, now on the Frankie Slauson Show on KTech Radio 91.3 and KTech.org, streaming nationwide, you have a biker advocate for you. So if you need anything from us at the radio station, give us a call, get a hold of us, uh, and we'll, we'll put it on the air for you. We're here okay. for you. It's something new we're doing, and it's part of the Frankie Slauson Show, Friday nights, every Friday night at 10 o'clock. Okay. Okay? Okay. And your name again, sir? Doug Smith. Doug Smith. It's very nice to meet you. Nice Thanks for you. being part of it. Yeah. And give us a call. We'll put on your events and runs, and we're very interested in it. Okay. Thank you. Sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I figure you got you to at least do an interview with the guy who, you know, oh, yeah. three packs, I guess. <laughs> well, we were gonna. He was gonna do some uh, a little interview with you guys because okay. this is his segment. Your name this, was Mike guys. Williams. Mike. Yep. He's You're, rep. You're the organizer of this. You're chairman. 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 Of oh wow! So we're we're hit, back your jacket. We hit I'm, gold here. I'm part of the Ride or Die Brotherhood. Okay. Defenders of the Constitution. Warrior <laughs> colors. Yep. Yeah. Well, we don't call them colors. But they're our vests. <laughs> There's reasons for that. We have hog vests. We don't call them antennas either. Yeah. <laughs> Other well, people call them colors. a good outfit. <laughs> anyway, uh, what can you tell us today about the motorcycle show? You want to tell our audience about anything? Um, if you've got a moment, I've got a, I've got a good cheat sheet so I won't forget anything. Okay. And I'll just bring it. I don't, need to, I don't need to do this, but it just kind of helps me out. All right. Sure. I'll, be, I'll be right back. Well, it's, it's no different when we do live radio. We're always in trouble with something. <laughs> yeah. Hey, that's fine. That's uh, fine. I just want to make sure that I don't say my name is Matt McCormick. Or oh, okay. <laughs> All, right. All right. Well, you do that, Mike. We'll be here. We'll be here. We'll be here. We'll be here. <laughs> so what do you guys say about the about this show oh, so far? I think far? it's an awesome show. I'm glad that you got to come down. And yeah, see. this is my it, first time. It's, it's pretty neat. And it, they put this on in Rapid City every year. And there's a lot of hard work in this. Uh, these people are bike builders, you know, and there's a lot of clubs and organizations here we'd like to see the togetherness because motorcycles brings everyone together yeah obviously I don't care who you are. <laughs> uh, 
there is somebody out there that has a connection with somebody yeah. that either rides a motorcycle, sells them, or does something. So sure, sure, it's very absolutely. Interesting and, and it's almost like coming to the rally. There's like an adrenaline rush. Yeah. And it's really neat. you got to come down here to see it. It's... Uh, it's pretty, there's some nice, there's there's something for everybody here. Oh, yeah. You know, there's concessions down here. There's uh, motor oil displays. There's old vehicles. There's a guy that actually makes and redoes seats. And he. it, it appears that he comes to you. Oh, That's wow. pretty good. Yeah. And there's a lot of uh, organizations that stand for good quality life in America. And that's <coughs> the type of thing that we hope we can bring back to this country and hope that there's a togetherness and we're all united. Sure. They said that in the beginning that uh, this used to be at Bacon Park? Or Long ago, yes. Never, never, never always used to be here at the Civic Center. No. Well, before the Civic Center was here, it yeah. was at Bacon Park. That's right. And uh, they used to have some good turnouts down there. Yeah. Absolutely. So. Well, eventually we'll get a chance to talk to the guy who founded this whole idea, the chairman. The Mike Williams. Mike Williams. So whatever we get to him, we'll do, that'll be the next interview. Right. But you're doing such a good job, though. Well, I, I, thank you. I hope the friend. radio listeners appreciate the hard work and dedication that it goes well, to doing it, this. It's just that it's, <laughs> when it's in your heart and you want to you wanna do what's right and you want to visit with the American folks, and I truly love the American folks. Oh, yes. They're good people. And uh, it's, a, it's still a great country to live in. The, the people are good. I've never known a bad biker yet. They're all good folks. Yeah. And any in any of their extended family they're associated with. So. Sure, sure. Absolutely. We're we're good at what we do. We oh, don't yeah. have no formal training. <laughs> Here he is, the man of the hour. <laughs> Mike Williams. Mr. Mike Williams. Yep. Chairman of the Black Hills Motorcycle. Uh, Show? Yeah. Twenty-sixth annual. Jeez, that's a long annual. time. I was just giving some details about how neat it is to come down here. It's like a mini rally. It is. Yep. And it gives you kind of an adrenaline rush. When Gets you ready there. for Sturgis, yeah. even though I know that's not the point. Like you were yeah, saying, well, I mean, we got the vendors, not the not the wild ones that you see at Sturgis. Right. So there's no um, thongs or g strings. Or <laughs> no, but it, 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 it's a but. casual. A casual gathering of good, decent. It's like folks. a yeah. it's like a cleaned up version, right? Of it. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, no tattoo vendors. No, there, but, yes. but, um, <laughs> No, the the show is actually something that evolved over the years. 26th annual. Um, so it started in 1988 as a show and shine in the Bacon Park Shopping Center parking lot. We were just talking about yeah. that too. Yeah. So, um, in fact, there there are a few people present in this arena today that were at the first. Uh, I don't doubt that. Uh, well, one thing I want to tell you, Mike, is we're here and we're the biker's advocate for you. Okay. So if you need us on KTEC Radio, and this is something new, and this has been something that we've been wanting to do for a long time in this community, I think the biker needs to have a say. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. you know, uh, we're here for you, and if there's anything else you want to tell our audience about the show or the history or any of that or what you got going on, just go to it. Okay. Um... I, I guess the, the big thing, and this isn't going to do any good right now, no. I mean, I, the thing that, um, kind of our biggest puzzle is how do we get more people to come to the show? Well, that's where we're here, yeah. we're, and we're going to, we, last night, we, we broadcast on KTEC Radio about the Black Hills Motorcycle Show, and you know what, from here on out we'll do it, there was a technical glitch last night, we were doing an interview, and it, 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 stopped right in the middle of everything and of course in live radio this happened yeah and frankie was out of the control room, but luckily i've, I've got a, enough experience to figure out which switch to hit so i hit <laughs> the switch and right went right into the black hills motorcycle show so we plugged in a couple awesome. of times awesome <laughs> we appreciate that right but... and i listed your your charity and the, your sponsors all of them so. oh okay great appreciate it yep but yeah that's that's kind of a big challenge that we have because i mean Rapid City area, the front range of the Black Hills here, you've got a population of, uh, what would you say, 60, 70,000 70, people. Yeah. 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 And so you would think that we could get more than 2,000 2, people in on a weekend with yeah. motorcycles, especially in the area that we're in with the Sturgis Rally in the summer and a lot of bike related well, um, I, I think clubs once, around here. I think once we get the uh, word out that there's an advocate for the motorcycle community 
and they start listening in on the radio. And of course, it, we plug this thing starting out early. We'll get, we can get you there. Yeah. An old biker once told me, he said, if you, if you do an event and keep doing it, they will come. Yeah. So 26 years is impressive. Yeah. Well, what's uh, what's the most uh, or like was it was there ever a record setting that you ever did in the last twenty six years of people being here? Attendance, or? I think. Attendance 20, record. Right at twenty two hundred. Okay, so that seems to be the norm. Huh? Yeah. Uh, we had we had one blizzard year. I want to say five or six years ago, six hundred and something. Jeez. It was pretty good for a blizzard year. Uh, yeah. But, uh, some of those folks were probably wanting to get out of the house and come down. Yeah. <laughs> there anything and else? made it down. And made it down. Yeah, yeah. Mike, is there anything yeah. else you want to say? Uh, I know this is kind of putting you on the spot, and, but, the, you know, don't don't worry about what, what's going to happen or how it's going to come across, because yeah. this is live radio and they got to understand it. So. Yeah. No, I, I guess I would mistakes. say is, um, you know, this is what it is. Um, a pretty decent show. We've got um, antiques. We've got metric motorcycles. It isn't a Harley Davidson show. No. There are a lot There's of Harley Davidsons out here. Um, choppers, baggers. Um, oh, I think there's some uh, trikes out here. And typically, we get occasionally we get a few um, sidecar motorcycles at the show here. But so pretty much what you see here now is pretty much a done deal. What you don't see is next week. We start planning for the for the 27th. Uh, yeah. so, that was going to be my next question. So um, it takes a year to plan an event like this. All right. Well, we'll so, help you um, every step of the way with that, Mike. So we'll um, yeah, we, we have a, a wrap up meeting. What what do we need to change from this year to make next year's show better? And we get this whole core committee group of uh, there's about a dozen of us that do the planning and and execution of the of everything that needs to be done, gathering sponsors, sure. um, setting up with the Civic Center, the dates, and running the arena, and um, a lot of work involved with it. So. I think if you had like a live band or something, you know, just to that keep the... Yeah. That, that was Even just nice a local band, band or something, yep. have, Zort, have Zorte come. Yeah, yeah they do that at the <laughs> Smith Show in, in Minneapolis. Right. Oh, yeah. They have a band there, and but... Um, yeah, I suppose with costs, I suppose that everything costs, costs something. Yeah. The cost factor, you got to figure it out. Yeah. Yeah. And then where where do we put them here? Do we put them, I mean, I guess there, well, there's places you could put them. Yeah. But, um, yeah, it's more of the logistics to figure it out. I'm yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so probably something we're going to talk about at the wrap-up meeting. All right. Yeah. Well, Mike, so. we appreciate you, sir. It's nice yeah. to meet you. And uh, you take care, and we'll be in touch with you. Yeah. And don't forget... Come down to the uh, Black Hills Motorcycle Show. It's every year at the Civic Center in Rapid City. And Mike Williams puts on a heck of a show here. And it's it's really neat. And this is the old Reb with K-Tech Radio telling you this. Get yourselves down here and check it out. Thank you very much. Thanks, Reb.